was so achingly stylish, every element was clear in display. There was an unsure moment down here where you looked a little bit lost and I didn't believe you. You showed a totally different side to your character and I congratulate you. Well done. Well, that was beautiful. What an entrance, I tell you. Uh, Len was saying just there how we saw a different side to you last week, Ore. In fact, who was that man out on the dance floor? I don't know, but I liked him. I it liked was... him a lot. I, I, I've had nothing to be angry about on this show at all, but for some reason I was able to just crank up the angry gears. I, lo I loved everything about that dance. It was amazing. It was absolutely superb. I mean, Joanne, did, was, it, was it hard to get the angry, moody Ore from um, out of him? Because he is charming. It wasn't that hard, actually. I think it's because, again, you got into the character. Yeah. And I even caught him putting the eyeliner on. Uh, was the that eyeliner. Put the real eyeliner. Be proud, Ore, where it's been <laughs> dried. OK, fine. Just admit it. They're very, Just very good it. in it, one by one they fall. OK, and um, the judges absolutely loving it along with the audience. Bruno said it was achingly stylish and incredibly different. Um, uh, was it the toughest that you've done yet, would you say? Uh... I, I don't think so, actually. I think quite early on, we... we well, it was just so amazingly choreographed by jo I just completely yeah. immersed myself into it. The shaping <laughs> of the back is a bit different. Yeah, you enjoy that. <laughs> the like shaping that. of the back thing is a bit weird, but yes. I, I just loved learning Paso. It, it was quite easy to get into it. I don't know how... How you thought I did. Yeah, you love that shaping of the back. As soon as you put your Paso trousers on, you're like... Hey! You see, it's the Paso trousers every time they work. Uh, three tens at Blackpool last week, one ten. Brilliant. But do you like some more? Everybody would love some more. <laughs> Everybody would love more tens, obviously. I, I mean, at this stage, the thing is, you do have to pull out top scores. Um, so it would have been lovely, but that's how the judges judge it. But just to be still here, because mm -hmm. the public obviously liked it that much, to keep us in, was just like, it was such a relief. It was obviously, especially here at the quarterfinals, just really great. I know. Yeah. Quarterfinals. What? Next week, semifinals, then the final. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, Len did say, Joe, there might have been a little incident around about the second chasse. Uh, now, I'm no expert. Uh, what say <laughs> you? Mm. Yeah, there, there might have been a little. <laughs> Little one, just a little one. But he, you know what? You, he was really good at getting straight back into the routine. So yeah. that I was proud of. Well done. But there yeah. was a little. And little I was one. just very happy. <laughs> and relieved. <laughs> like, uh, that was just it. That was all we had. Um, now your mum, Fola, is your biggest fan, but also your biggest critic. Um, yes. A couple of weeks ago, you did say on the show you hadn't wrong her. Oh, no. You naughty boy. I'm Have you spoken to her since you passed the doble? And what was her feedback? I have spoken to her since last week's show. Yes. Since the Paso Doble, no. Oh. Oh. All the mums right. in the audience here are oh, furious. She's a busy woman. She, well, she, no, that's right. She's very busy, but I also do like this show as using it as FaceTime. So, <laughs> hi, Mum. I just wanted to say, <laughs> the Paso was great. <laughs> We are still here, so I'll call you after this show as well. I like it. He so won't, really. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, Joe, let's talk about your mum and dad, Keith and Judy. They obviously run... I mean, they're kind of celebrities in their own right, actually, is your mum and dad. Um, they run their own dancing school in Grimsby. What do they think... <laughs> yes, are you from the Grimsby? Grimsby massive. Yes, she's Yay. a lovely lady from Grimsby. Um, what do they think of your latest student? I'm imagining they give a bit of feedback as well. A bit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I ring... The, well, they ring me every Sunday... Um, um, and say, so, you know, if you get through, what, what dance have you got next? And I tell them, and they list off about 50 things. Make sure he does this, this, mm. this, this, and this, <laughs> and this. But, uh, no, they're really proud of you. Oh, good, that's good to hear. I, I'm, I'm thankful of that as you well. You have yeah. the seal of approval from Keith and Judy. Um, it's Musicals Week, and you get to be Willy Wonka. I'm <laughs> loving that. Um, we spoke to Vicky about your costume yesterday. And are you a bit gutted you're not being an Oompa Loompa, Joe? Absolutely mortified. <laughs> Come on, this is how good you would have looked. Oh, 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 oh,
Kate Hatton level, you're a bit like Natalie. No, that's yeah. <laughs> Um, this is your music. It's quite magical. Come with me and you'll go oh. in a I think world. I st All right, stop it. I'm a dangerously hormonal woman. Uh, it's, it's, I'm getting emotional now. Obviously, Jim Wilder passed away this year. This is an amazing piece to dance to. I think it could get quite, whew, couldn't it? How's it going? I'm sure it's going to get emotional. The first moment we actually started learning it in yeah. the studio, I just got goosebumps about this dance. I mean, you mentioned Gene Wilder. I remember yeah. uh, uh, Joe and I were coming down on the train earlier yeah. in the autumn when we heard that he, yeah. uh, he passed away. And he, that character, for me, has always been like one of my iconic characters from my childhood. Yeah. So to be given the opportunity to become... Wonka on this show, where's the box of tissues? <laughs> where's, we know no, yes. where's the glitter box. Um, any parts, has he taken well to the Foxtrot Joe? Uh, definitely, definitely yeah. has. Um, obviously, there is, because it's musicals, we, you, need, you do need a lot of character in it, yeah. but the competition's getting tougher now, so you do need to be technically perfect the judges are looking for details so yeah he's he's focused on that and and that's good he's been a very good boy this week any parts you're particularly worried about or that have troubled you this week or um well i mean the the fox trot as joe uh, t told me earlier this week was was called because the fox there was a lot of fox trotting you're on your tiptoes a lot in the olden days. In the olden days. Right. Okay. So, because <laughs> you often see foxes trotting yeah. around the urban bin. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's going to be a bit of that. Okay. No, well, not I, too much trotting. Too I much said trotting. in the olden days. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Uh, so I've learnt so much. Yeah. <laughs> and there's so much more. Uh, now let's talk about the elusive ten from Craig. We have not seen for you yet. Could this be the dance to crack him, Joe? I'm hoping so. We'll see. I mean, he does tend to look at the minor, minor details and any excuse he has not to give a 10 he'll, he'll use that so hopefully we've worked hard on the technique this week and there won't be anything that hopefully mm. still amazing yeah. scores we'll though across the board oh, yeah, yeah. if you get through this weekend you are in the semi-finals yeah! <laughs> it's just mean two dances wow. yikes what do you feel about that all right that fills me with yeah. <laughs> Like, I mean, one dot. When we did the cha cha challenge last week, we'd already done cha cha, but still, the thought of doing another dance made me so nervous. But let's get this Saturday. Should we just do tomorrow oh, yeah. first? Let's yes. Think about that. Think and about fingers that. crossed, you do get your golden ticket to the semi finals because they're brilliant. All right, and you're out. <laughs> Before we go, though, so mm -hmm. please, can we have just a little bit more? <gasps> more? <laughs> you dare to ask for more, boy? <laughs> oh, go on, then. Uh, let's take a look at how <laughs> rehearsals are coming along for tomorrow night's group dance.